And now we are looking live at protesters gathering for the seventh straight day in Seattle. This picture from Capitol Hill. It comes one day after the largest protest in Seattle so far. And for the first time, there was no violence between demonstrators and officers as it continued overnight and into this morning. Today, Seattle's mayor and police chief announced changes in direct response to what the community is calling for. And thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Monique Minglavin from the Cairo 7 Studios. I'm Steve Rabel. Good evening again. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I am at a safe distance and reporting from home. Cairo 7's Didi Sumbo is downtown in Seattle, and Didi, the city, says they are listening. They say they are listening and taking action as quickly as they can. Now, as the protesters march this way, you can see guardsmen behind me right over here. And to my right, you can see Seattle police officers waiting as well. Now, one of the most visible changes that you'll notice is that their, their badges are on full display. The protesting crowd today, smaller than the massive gatherings on Wednesday, but no less passionate. Continuing to call for change, police accountability, and racial justice on the seventh day of protests in Seattle. People say they're hopeful the movement is making a difference. I think we're getting there, you know, and uh, when we have this many people uh, with a common goal and a vision and this much passion, I'm, I'm definitely optimistic about it. Today, Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin and Police Chief Carmen Best announced changes they've made directly in response to the demands of people marching in the streets. Chief Best ordered morning black stripes to come off badges so officers' numbers and names are fully visible. We want to make sure that we are being transparent uh, and that people don't have the belief that we are in any way trying to hide who we are. The city last night officially lifted curfew, saying how speaking with community leaders helped them realize it looked like the state was silencing voices. Last night, Chief Best talked directly with protesters. We want things to be calm. We want them to know they can come out, they can stay here as long as they want to. Mayor Durkin today also addressed protesters' request to have SPD body cameras turned on. I believe we can and should change this policy. The city attorney's office yesterday dropped the effort to lift federal oversight of the Seattle Police Department after hearing the community say SPD is not ready. And the mayor said the inspector general will review the city's policies of crowd management set in 2017, which allows police to use flashbangs and tear gas, among other tools. The use of force in demonstrations, as well as how the accountability systems work, must always be scrutinized. Police body cameras have been turned off at times because officers aren't supposed to use them during police protests or rather during peaceful protests. But Mayor Durkin said based on feedback from protesters, she plans to meet with city council as well as community leaders to re-examine that law and potentially change it. Live in downtown Seattle, DD Sun, Cairo 7 News.